Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Happy Nurses Week. I am State Senator Sue Morano, and I represent the 13th District in the state of Ohio. I want to thank each and every one of you for taking time out of your busy day to come and attend this very, very important press conference. I would like to take a few moments to recognize a few people here, and then I will explain how I got involved with Senate Bill 89, and we have some guest speakers that I will be introducing. First of all, we have some very special people here. We have Lynn Reed, President Lynn Reed from CRNA, which is the Certified Registered Nurse Anesthetist Association. We also have Sally Morgan, who is President of the Mid-Ohio District Nurses. We are also fortunate to have a member of the task force that was with us that was representing the Ohio Nurses Association, Linda Wagner, and thank you for being here. And we also have the President of the Ohio Nurses Association, Barbara Nash. So thank you very much for coming here this morning and being a part of this. I am in my third year of my first four-year term as a senator, and I am in my 27th year as a registered nurse. In addition to the work that I do here in the Senate, I currently work three to four nights a month in the intensive care unit at Community Health Partners in Lorain. So I guess you could say that I like to keep my finger on the pulse of health care. I am the only health care professional in the entire General Assembly. Taking these qualifications into effect has enabled me to be an advocate for my patients, my fellow nurses, and for the people of Ohio. Health care issues cross my desk as a senator on a daily basis, and I use my experience and my knowledge as a health care professional to address each and every one of these issues. One of the more recent issues that have come across my desk was the nursing faculty education shortage. During the 127th General Assembly, I was elected the chairperson of the Ohio Nursing Education Study Committee, which was created by House Bill 119 and charged with um, studying the current nursing faculty shortage in Ohio and the significant and severe lack of clinical placement sites for those nursing education programs. The nursing shortage in Ohio and even in the United States is well documented in recent years. We are in the middle of a nursing crisis. The findings of this committee indicate that the nursing shortage here in Ohio is being intensified by a nursing faculty shortage. This committee that I was able to be a part of met monthly throughout 2008 and issued its final report in December of that year. The content of Senate Bill 89 includes three out of the four recommendations of that committee. It's also been recently reviewed by the Columbus Dispatch in an editorial this past Saturday. This morning I would like to address each one of the recommendations of Senate Bill 89. First of all, Senate Bill 89 will restructure the allocation of the Nurse Education Assistance Loan Program, commonly referred to as NEL. Currently, funding is allocated to three separate groups. Students going to school to be nursing instructors receive 50% of the funding, which equals about $200,000 to $250,000 a year. Students studying to be registered nurses receive 25%, or about $100,000 to $125,000 per year, with those that are studying to be licensed practical nurses re receiving the remaining 25%. The modifications of this program that's been presented in Senate Bill 89 will give the Chancellor of the Board of Regents the ability to allocate 25% of the funds and distribute it to the nursing program that is in the most need in the state of Ohio. Currently, Ohio is in great need of nursing educators and registered nurses. The reallocation of these NELP funds will place valuable state resources where they need to be most used in the nursing community. 
Senate Bill 89 will also authorize the establishment of a mechanism within the Ohio Skills Bank program administered by the Ohio Board of Regents. This is vitally important. This would solidify the agency as a mediator between universities that have nursing education programs across the state, as well as universities and hospitals. Through this program, the Ohio Skills Bank would collaborate with educational programs to meet the needs for nursing education in every region of the state. Thirdly, Senate Bill 89 will adjust the requirements to gain prescriptive authority for the advanced practice nurses transferring to Ohio from out of state. This is not an increase in the scope of practice that is allowing nurses to transfer into the state of Ohio. Commonly, APNs that have had prescriptive authority in another state for at least one continuous year within the last three years would not be required to repeat their advanced practice nursing training under an Ohio position. This provision is meant for those out-of-state APNs who have met or who have exceeded the educational requirements here in the state of Ohio. This will be accomplished in collaboration with the Ohio Board of Nursing. As I mentioned earlier, we are very privileged, we are very honored today to have several esteemed guests with us who help support Senate Bill 89. 